Then let's get into it, man, because uh, Mr. ASAP, you know, he asked us, you know, uh, we were talking about um, Freddie Gibbs and J. Cole, and when we were talking about our top five video, we were just talking about our personal top fives. And, uh, you know, I think this, you know, we were talk we got, why not talk about J. Cole versus Freddie Gibbs, but I think this is really a bigger conversation. Who is the best rapper of the 2010s, you know, that era, you know, from 2010 to, you know, to you know now even uh who is the best rapper of that generation you know and uh a lot of times you know it's always between you know in mainstream it's drake or kendrick um obviously we, we've talked about it before we think those those people are overrated but j cole is another one of those names freddie gibbs is another one of those names and and i think there's a few others but let's let's talk about it um what what makes because B you think Freddie Gibbs is the best, so what makes you think he's the best? Um, I mean multiple things. I think he got the best flow, best songs, best albums. Um, I mean to me that's it right there. He got a, he got the one of the best voices in rap. Uh, I I think he's the greatest. He raps with all the raps with every great and always looks good doing it. So. I'm a, I'm a big Gibbs fan. All right. So I I went, you know, back to this to all the Freddie Gibbs stuff. Uh I'm I'm definitely a Freddie Gibbs fan as well. And I've always thought uh or I've thought that he's the best of this generation since the two thousand tens. Um but I think Mr. Uh ASAP had a point when say that he really just got with some better producers. Cause when you look at his albums that are not with Mad Lib or Alchemist, they're nowhere near the same quality. And, you know, uh, except in the new uh, SSS, his newest album, and you look at his older albums and stuff, they're not, the, they're not something to write home about. I mean, I disagree with that. Um, which albums are you talking about? Like, I mean, whether it's Babyface Killer or ESGN. I like uh, ESGN. Um, I like uh, not Babyface Killer as much, but well, Miseducation is a lot of freestyles and that's prior to 2010 yeah. cold day in hell the uh, tonight show uh shadow are, of a doubt these are just to me these are some of these are just me shadow of a doubt was definitely me i like the first like six songs and then after that it was like not good i would take shadow of a doubt over born center any day of the week no no way <laughs> No way. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Hold on. So we got all right, all right, hold on. This shadow of the doubt. I don't, so what do you got what do you got against uh J. Cole? That's the one thing I don't understand. I, what do you I don't have him? a oh, that's the thing. I don't have nothing against J. Cole. There's nothing against him. I don't enjoy the music the way y'all do. I never had any issue with J. Cole. But I don't think J. Cole has a fucking up the count or, or messing up the count on his album. And I would ever yeah. want to, I don't have, he don't have no song on there that I would want to hear more than Extra Night. I love I, Extra Night. Now, okay, you named, I, you named his two best songs on that album. See, you, you but, purposely did this. You named his two best songs. Has, so, and, and look, <laughs> y'all know Cole's discography far more than me because when I listen to his albums, it all sounds, it runs together on me. It doesn't hit me. I don't feel it, um, and so that that's where I, that's where you lose me. Messing See, up the count is in my is in my rotation forever. Yeah, no, I, I love that song, but the Born Center to me, I listen to it again. This this album is undeniably amazing to me. I, I just I love this album. album. It's a great album to me. It's easily his best album. I like it more than Four Shows Drive. I definitely think it's his best album. And I, I mean, I, every song on it was dope. I, I, I was listening for, you know, a song I, I, I would not like because I really thought mm. um, that I, I, you know, I because I, I never really listened to um, like Chaining Day that much. But when I listen to it, this is, these songs are dope. Crooked Smile and stuff. And then they're positive messages. One thing Cole's got over uh, Gibbs is content for sure. This Gibbs is. doesn't talk about nothing. Disagree. He, he talks about money, clothes, and homes, and and then, and, 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 uh, you know, that's it. That is what he talks about. I disagree. Uh, he, I mean, he talks about you know, uh, yeah. Uh, he talks yeah. about his personal life. Okay, and it's not okay. This is the thing. 
not relatable. Most people are not criminals. This is the this is the thing. Most people are not criminals. I don't know why everyone always talks about this like it's the most relatable thing. Most people no, are not. So, so I I I agree with you to an extent, right? But I think Gibbs gets much more personal on his songs than than many other um than many other people that would that would rap about a quote like street street rappers or whatever. So, I mean, I think he has a lot of that. I mean, throughout his albums, throughout his albums. See, he has some. Uh, he has some. Uh, it's, I'm not saying that he has none. No, I think his no best albums have a lot stuff. of that. I think Pinata has a lot of that. I think Bandana has a lot of that. I think those albums have a lot more than that. And nowhere near as much, and it's still nowhere near as much as J. Cole. I mean, J. Cole albums, every every album is, is personal, it's honest, uh, it's mm-hmm. relatable. You know, I, I, you know, as, like I said, I, J. Cole was coming out, I was just getting started in college, you know, I, I, I you know, the, and every, here's a few things, okay, about J. Cole. One is I completely related with, you know, he was, you know, talking about college and stuff like that, especially in his early times, you know, I, I always remember, you know, mm-hmm. Uh, the you know to the college kids you know uh, on scholarships starting your semester you know unpacking your suitcase and filling up your dresser you know I I I, I love uh, you know he was always rapping to college kids in that time and then mm-hmm. uh, and then not only could I it was a rapper that I could like because he had he you know could uh, had a hip hop uh, you know aesthetic. Um, but also is a rapper that I could get in the car because this is something I, I, I can't take for, you can't take for granted. There's not often I can get in the car on a road trip with my friends from college and stuff like that and listen to their music and, and it'd be the same thing that I listen to, right? But mm-hmm. I could say, anyone could say, yo, play J. Cole and then everyone will sing it. Everyone knows the songs. Everyone can sing along. Everyone loves the the, the uh, artist. That's not something I can say about any, most any other rapper I like, almost. Okay, so you're, you're speaking to popularity, which A, means nothing to me, and B, <laughs> um, and, and B, um, I don't know how that's a comparison. So, you know, this is what we, this is how we got into this, I guess, with the, with the other commenter um, that we were going back and forth about hip hop and and popularity. Yeah. Um as far as that goes, that's great. I mean that is a that's a bonus to that's a credit to him. So yes. If you're gonna, is... if we're gonna have a scale of, of things that you would, would credit, then I mean yes, that would be a credit to J. Cole that, that that's popular for you. But... I was out of college when J. Cole came out. So right. I did not want I did not care to and not that I can't relate. <laughs> I mean I went to college, I graduated college, but it didn't that's not something that at that time hit me the same way. So, but this is what I'm speaking to. He's speaking to his hit, his songwriting ability, his hit making. Uh, he's got several hits. Uh, is that what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It speaks to the fact that I could play a playlist mm-hmm. that can both appeal to women. Uh, it could appeal to dudes. It could appeal to, you know, uh, you know, people who want to hear some rapid rap stuff, lyricism. It could appeal to people who want to hear some melodic stuff. And so it speaks to his ver- versatility. It speaks to uh, his songwriting, you know, and and his just overall skill set. That's what it's speaking to, you know. That's why that's why I bring it up because for you don't give other rappers the same credit for that same stuff. Because uh, most rappers don't don't appeal in that that wide of a. That's not true. That was a good point. <laughs> There's plenty of rappers that that appeal to masses, and you don't give them credit. Okay, so like they got give, hits. Give me a a, a, a comparison. Of somebody from from. Uh, that's the generation that we're talking about, 2010s. Tw- someone from the 2010s yes. that has hits that you don't give credit to. Yes, yes. Um, Future. I mean, Future does not appeal to everyone. He, he appeals to the people who like trap rap and, yeah, and bubble rap. Future is huge, dog. I don't Future is huge. Future is huge. Huge. Huge, but this is not just bigger than Cole. He's bigger than Cole. Yes, I'm not. Yeah. This, this is not a comparison of Future versus Cole. If, but what Future does is like in a whole nother box. This is what I'm saying. People, when we talk about hip hop conversation, Future often doesn't even come up because what he does is almost so different. You know, he's not, all those things I just said, he's not doing barring up the track. He's not a lyricist. He's not, uh, he's not, you know what he does is what f- is future. That's what he does. He does future. Okay, well then Drake. 
Drake is a Drake. Good, Drake is a good one. And Drake has a few songs where he bars up the track that everyone likes that, that you can play. You can play some there's some Drake song that everyone likes. But the issue of is course. there is they're not all the same song. That's the thing. Like the song I might like from Drake is not the same song that the girls want to hear from Drake. And when we get in the car, we don't agree on the song to sing. That's the, that's what I'm saying. So this I is interesting. Know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, look, Bryce, go ahead, Bryce. I, I don't want yeah. uh, because I conversation. I feel like, especially nowadays with his recent albums, any song that you can find that he barring off the track, the girls probably know all the words too. Okay. Too like he's gotten big enough now to where they know all the songs. He don't have to be TikTok famous. His songs all get plays. So right. I don't. Know. I I think Drake is universal. That's why okay. he's so big. Then I, he's always been universal. Then I can see that point. Drake, then Drake also has that that credit. So then, but that's still you putting them in very high position. If you're you know we're comparing you know Drake and J Cole's you know versatility yeah. um, together. Uh, but J Cole's a much better rapper than than either of them. And and the, here's the thing. Here's the key. He's a better rapper than Freddie Gibbs. When J. Cole, disagree, J. Cole gets on tracks with great rappers and so murders them. Gibbs so does not murder people. No, he does not. No, he does not. <laughs> on the, on the, okay, name what, what song? Who has he murdered on, on the track? Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss on what song? What, what song are you talking about? The last one that came out on the extended edition of uh, what you call them. It was out for about a year. We got a video for it and everything. What, what song is that? So I can't remember the name of the song, man. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the name of all these songs, man. I got you right now. What album is it on? It's on Triple S, but they put it on the bonus edition. Oh, oh, uh, you talk about the, uh, is it what, the Black Illuminati one or whatever? Yes, uh, Black Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Black all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's recent. No, that, that, that is recent. That is recent. That, and that's a good song. It's a good song. Okay. I mean, all right, you got maybe that's one. Maybe that's one. I don't. I honestly can't even remember uh, Freddie Gibbs' verse off the top of my head like that. But J Cole does this every single time he's he murders uh, rappers. I mean, when he dropped, so just this is looking just last year. You saying if that's Freddie Gibbs' best performance of last year, J Cole had the Johnny P. Caddy, which many people say was verse of the year. Uh, yeah. And he murders everyone on that track, or Benny on that track. Um, he had that London track, uh, you know, mm, that he, he kills. I mean, yeah. You, I, don't, you, I, don't, I don't know what track he's talking about. I mean, to be honest. You don't, don't know, know the London know. track. What London Which track? Which one? I, the, am I supposed to notice? He has uh, two of them. I, I don't you know what you're take... talking about, man. To the London, the one with Young Thug, or the one with no, uh, Bia? Bia. Bia. That Bia yeah, track. Was tight. So who's getting murdered on this track? It, he murders the track. I'm not saying that oh, oh, Bia oh, is... You talking about so, great steady rap with that he murdered. What other ones? Okay, well... Or, what, what's the great app rap? Because Benny, I don't think, is, is that great. I think he gets murdered by Conway all the time. So I think I know people hype up Benny, act like he's the best. He's the, the third best rap in Brazil. Let's see... So, so okay. give me the, so give me the great rap that so J. Cole is murdering. Who is I mean, J. Cole murdering? He, any track that he's on is my point. Any track that he's on. What rapper is he murdering? Okay, I've seen Gibbs murder Joey Badass. Had, I've seen Gibbs murder Jada Kiss. Uh, uh, J. Cole had, I mean, even on the uh, on the Good Friday tracks, uh, the Looking for Trouble song, yeah. uh, um, he in that song with, uh, who was the other? Pushes on that? and um, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, so the... Uh, Big Sean's he, on that. He murders um, Wale I mean, on, that, too, on, that, uh, on that on that on that beautiful Bliss song uh, uh, on Wale's first album. Um, he, okay. He's on he's on that uh, on the Revolution Per Minute uh, album with uh, Quali, uh J Electronica, and Mos he does not Def. murder anyone on that. He doesn't song. murder them. Except I'm not saying he's Def. murdered. Except for most he most he's not murder. the first on that song. He does, yeah, have the rest, <laughs> rest of that song. But J Cole's verse is dope, and that's rhyming yeah, with some of the best. Let's go right there. Yeah, okay. My my point is when when Freddie Gibbs on the track uh, Education, Freddie Gibbs is the worst verse on Education no, with, with uh, Most Def and Black Thought. Yes, first he does. All, I disagree yes, with does. that. I think you have a better verse than uh, Most. And I definitely, okay, so, all right, well, he has been murdered by Black Thought a couple times. Multiple times. And J. Cole raps with Black Thought? No, but Black Thought raps with, okay, hold on. Black Thought raps with 
uh, mostly the underground rappers. Black Thought don't get on tracks a lot of the a lot of the bigger rappers. My man, if J Cole wanted them on the track, he'd get on the track. Gibbs uh, says, "Get on the track with me." Maybe I don't really know how it works. That's taking I don't know all how it works. comers. That's taking all comers. I think J Cole takes Jay all comers. Freddie Gibbs rap with Gibbs rap with Scarface. Gibbs yeah. rap with name some greats. Gibbs and rap with them. In, okay, okay. Is a Gibbs rap with any any uh, superstars? I mean, I, I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know well, who's not. I don't know what's not a superstar. Black Thought's not a superstar. Black Thought Push is a team. superstar. <laughs> Push. Jacob okay. Rabbit Push. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying. And who else? There's uh, uh, Kanye and all those other people I just named. Okay, we, we talked about Kanye. You went crazy on Bobolo Boat with Royce. Royce, you yeah. Did, you did murder Royce. I think J. Cole will accept you know, anybody's really a, 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 a invitation. Oh, I, He'll I, accept I anybody's invitation. I think yeah. he'll take the invitation. Gibbs putting them on. Top oh, he doesn't. My album. Okay, yeah, but okay. Jimmy Cole doesn't have anybody on his album. He doesn't have anybody yeah, on his that's album. That's why his. But he says he I says why it. he said that people ain't worthy to be on his album. That's what he say. He says this over and over again. Okay, look, hey, this is where the whole thing will come down to. J Cole's album's not as good. <laughs> All right, so and let's break the albums then. Let's and, break the albums. And, and, well, so hold on, so hold on. The the issue with it, and like I said, this is because I think Cole could do all of these things. But he chooses not to. <laughs> he chooses yeah. to make the album all his beats with no other produce. I mean, no other people, and this, that's why his album suffered. No, 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 no. Hold on, they hold on. Suck. See, they don't. He doesn't suffer. have a bad oh. album. He exactly. So, well, I think his first album is bad. But the the thing so, is, his first album is really bad. His first album is bad. Okay, but the thing is, you got to give him credit that, <laughs> for writing the raps and making the beats any other rapper we, we give credit for that we were just talking about credit for Kanye making the beat, being but you know one of the best artists better. because of because of his beats but we he's doing both everything he's doing all the verses he's doing all the singing mm-hmm. he's doing all the beats and he's making great projects while doing it uh he has concept albums he tells stories he does and all that's what, you lost. what that's what you lost when you say great projects <laughs> they are great projects. They are great projects. Okay, I mean, look. Uh, okay, okay. I don't know what else to tell you. So we, no, we, we gotta rank the we gotta rank the projects. Then we gotta we rank, rank the projects. projects. So rank uh, the projects. this is a, this is a thing. I should I should have pulled up a, a tier list here, but I, this is what I was thinking. Okay, and we we could just uh, I think if you have a dope album, you know that counts as like a point for you, right? Mm. But if you have a trash album that counts as like a negative point for you, and then if you okay. have a mid album, it's it's no right. It's 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 just you know whatever, right? Okay. Uh, that's how I think we should count it. That's the that's the score. So I think if you have a perfect that's album, a, that's a weird we way to do even, it. But okay, maybe we can even think of I don't know. Maybe we think of some kind of scoring system uh, because how else do you um, how else do we make this uh, a thing? I think maybe we got to think of some kind of. Um, ranking system, but if you have a perfect album, maybe we give even extra points or something. I, I think you know, uh, the I think tier list was a good idea. Like, yeah, we I don't know many albums you have in a certain tier. You do how you want to do it. Yeah, we should. Like, we should. S tier, A tier, B tier, then anything below that don't get points anyway. So you shouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I, I like that. I like that. So then let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make a tier list. All right, let's do. It. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't even. Uh, somebody pull pull one up. Right, so pull pull up a tier list. Is Friday Night Lights? Are Friday we Night Lights Friday is Night definitely Lights? counting. It's definitely counting. It's got to count. Gotta count. Cause that, otherwise, he ain't got nothing. Hold on. It's not nothing. You can't <laughs> say this. Not nothing. Hold on. We we didn't even get to all of his his whenever his, his songs drop like Middle Child or Heaven's EP or something like that. It stops. He stops everything. Those those songs. Are, are are super dope. He kills those tracks. I will, I will give you. I will give credit to Cole for having much more impact. Right. That's <laughs> also popularity, but that's fine. <laughs> it's not just popularity though, because he had this. Well, he's on a major label. He starts off on a major label. He okay, but that, he had impact from the warm up. Okay, hold on. I was on the blogs. Okay, mm-hmm. the blog kid. 
I'm on TruthOfBoys.com. I okay? was as well. He had he had major but, label support. It goes a long way when you start off your career. Before he before he got the the sign by Jay Z, the warm up is what got him signed up signed to Jay Z. The warm up okay. mixtape was dope. I, I didn't say it wasn't. Who was Freddie signed to? Freddie was signed to a Jeezy when he came out, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and then his and and that's why his music had sucked. no releases. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I mean, that's that's definitely not going to help his career. <laughs> Jeezy, uh, I'm not a Jeezy fan. Man. Let me tell you, Freddie only good because he got with two of the best producers. Mad Lib, I think Mad Lib taught him how to rap, man. I think Mad Lib taught him how to make a song, and then Alchemist. All right, before that, you listen to some of his other stuff. He got some of the trashest hooks. We didn't talk about this. Freddie Gibbs can't write a hook, and that's why he stopped stopped writing songs with hooks in them. Because Mad Lib <laughs> probably told that dude, yo, cut it out. That that hook sucks. That hook was trash. Let me play a, a hook for, for you from this dude. Let me play, let me play a hook. What we doing? You, so you ain't play some of J. Cole Snooze best song? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no you don't got to do this song. He's got the, emotional songs. Song. That's going to make you go to sleep, and you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> this the this the joint right here. I love this song, Snooze Fest. We didn't even, we didn't even talk about when Freddie Gibbs tries to sing. It does trash or some he try to sing sometimes. It just, it's not good. It's not That's good. true. It's not good, I, man. I, I, but I don't like J Cole singing. But J Cole has way better songs when he's singing. If way better so, songs. But but situations is great. Sing, situations is great. The singing is the worst part of it. No. Situations is great. The singing he is, is the, singing the whole song. The whole song is singing. No, he's like rapid singing. It's kind of like in between. That's like Bone Thugs. Yes, yes, yes. That's but... like singing. <laughs> okay, all right. Then fine. You want to count that song as singing? <laughs> great. That's his best singing song. Dude. <laughs> but when he tries to just sing, sing, it's bad. Okay? Uh, I mean, okay. I, I don't normally judge rappers by their singing. Well, that's you, not something, you that's judge, a, you that's judge not a J. Cole by, by saying he's boring because he... he I, because Does. the songs aren't exciting to me. So you don't think songs like, uh, like you know, uh, G O M M D or no? I like that song, but you're picking the good songs. What about no, his boring songs like Crooked Smile? Okay, you're, that's a that's song a song not, bad. not for you, and it's that's not a bad. top song on. You're saying that's a song on his best album. It is a song on his best album, and it's a good song. It's a good song. It is a good song. It just plays it has a good out. message. Just because you heard it a million times, that's why you feel I that way. You forget though. I'm not listening to the radio and stuff, so I never heard that song a million times. Okay, so then let's. I listen. heard it when I heard the album the first time, and then I said never again, and then I went back because we having this discussion, and then so, I was like, I know why I never listened to this. It's not played out to me. Let me, let me list the non-boring songs then. On the album. So Villuminati. Okay, like that song. Like All right. song. trouble. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, she knows rich. Don't like that song. Uh, uh, okay, uh, rich uh, brothers. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the interlude ain't that some stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, born sinner. All those songs mm-hmm. are all hype. Those are upbeat songs. And then he's got the mm-hmm. songs that are more emotional and you know and more content focused and stuff like that. But that's not a bad thing. Nine nine on those. All right, all right, all right. So then let's just wreck the albums, then. Let's wreck the albums because I like both of them. All right, I like both of them. I mean, yeah, I like both of them as well. Well, I like <laughs> when J. Cole's not doing boring stuff, <laughs> stuff that I would deem as boring. I mean, I, I'm not trying to, I don't know the right way to say it, like without trying to sound like I'm trying to diss this man. I'm not. I respect what he's doing, I appreciate what he does, his contributions. He's a huge. Y'all are huge fans. Other many yeah. people love this guy. Yeah, I don't see it, and when I listen to the music, it doesn't doesn't hit me that same way. I love. Freddie I mean, it's Gibbs like how you too. feel about Mavi. I love you. Keep bringing up this Mavi. <laughs> I don't know. You keep trying to get me <laughs> killed, but Mavi. Uh, but the, the <laughs> Freddie Gibbs. I love Freddie Gibbs too. Right? I love Freddie Gibbs too. So I mean, my thing is, I I think Freddie Gibbs has some perfect albums. We're going to talk about that when we get to it. But I, I think uh, he is best paired with some of these greatest producers. I think there are a lot of people who sound good when you're paired with Mad Lib and Alchemist. I mean, that is just a cheat code, you know? Uh, whereas... Uh, I mean, Alchemist got albums with all kinds of people. Yeah, he does. And a lot of great all, And they're not all... Exactly. And are, are, they're not all consistently 
being heralded to the same extent that no. uh, Alfredo is. And I don't even think Alfredo is his best album, and I hear people say that all the time. Um, I think Ben Dennis is his best album. I would agree. But, I mean, we just heard an album with Mad Lib uh, and, and Blackstar. And it was great. And it, mm, it was great. It was great. I, I had it in my top five albums of the year. You did. Many did not. And many, I would say that and I would say that Mad Lib's production on there was the weakest part, one of the weakest parts of the album. Uh, I don't I don't I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was bad at I all. I, like I don't think it was bad. But it, I expected Bandana Mad Lib or up here Mad Lib. I didn't I didn't think we got that on that Black Tar album. I thought I thought the album was great. I thought it was fantastic. I thought the uh I thought it was just a different sound. Uh different sound does not mean yeah. bad production. So that's no, I didn't I didn't think that meant bad. I just I was I guess I was expecting to be wild in some way. I did not feel that when I listened to it. So I, this... I was I was underwhelmed by most steps rapping as well. So it wasn't okay. just I mean, it wasn't just mad lit. So but. this is the thing. Some things are artistic decisions, like 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 J Cole yeah. having no features. That's like his decision, mm-hmm. you know. Him doing no no beats, you know. Uh, that's his artistic decision. Now, did you like his newest album? What he did with other on other people's production? Kod, well, what's his newest album? No, uh, the fall off. Off season. Off, off season. season. Yeah, yeah. Off season. Yeah, I like that one more ish than KOD for sure but I can't say that it was I mean I didn't think it it's was my favorite uh, album he's done personally the all season was your favorite of all his albums yeah interesting um, I thought it was great I, 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 maybe I gotta listen to it again I mean I just don't especially remember. coming off of KOD and uh, I thought KOD was the most for your, for your eyes, eyes only um, yeah. let's see coming off of the looking back at the list I liked a lot of songs on off season. I got the tier list like pulled up, songs. so we can make the tiers. All right, All right so let's do, it. let's do it. Let's do it. So first off, I think we got we got to make the tiers. So I think I think let's just keep it simple. We could have a, a perfect album. Uh, we could have uh, a uh, well. Okay, well, how do we how do we settle disagreements though? I think well, look, I love them both. So I mean, I, I, I love I I'm. A- appreciate both artists, but like what you have is S tier for Cole. I don't agree with. So, <laughs> <laughs> we just we just put everything in S tier. Uh, no, no, no. I don't agree with them either. Yeah, come on. Uh, yeah. I'm just put them there because I didn't know once I moved them, I wouldn't be able to put them back down. Okay, yeah, I hate so. you. I hate you. Yeah. yeah. So all right. So then we got we got a we got a uh, and and we got a we got a. Uh, you know, get it. We'll get it. We'll get it straight. This is our first time doing. Yeah, so. let's get it straight. All right. So yeah, you can change the the names of the tier list, right? Can't you? Yeah. All right. Um, what if you said perfect tier? Yeah. I mean. I think S is going to be debatable. I mean, S is, S is fine, man. I mean, like, it's fine, man. I don't think it's the tier. S, A, B, and C. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right, cool, then we're fine. We'll leave it at, okay. We'll leave it at S, A, B, C. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Okay, so what, B is mid or C mid? What's C a mid album? C is a mid album. C is a mid, I guess. C is a mid album? B is, B is mid. mid. Right, so what you think? C is mid, right? C is mid. B is average. Mid. B is better than average. B is a above is... average. Exactly. So C is yeah. average. C is mid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mid. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. D is trash. All right. Yeah. Okay. So then this, Cole got more albums than this. Where's, uh, uh, um. And so does Gibbs. They don't uh, have mixtapes. Like, uh, Friday Night Lights is not an official album. Okay. So, so then already automatically, uh, Gibbs got more work, uh, right here already. So then let's, let's do, uh, let's, uh, we got Bandana and Alfredo. I think those are S tier albums for sure. I think yeah. Pinata is an A tier album. And Pinata is S tier album. This is I think, I think it's, it's got, uh, a, a few mistakes in my opinion, or not a mistakes, just songs that I don't like as much as, as, as I, like. uh, I disagree. That's the first disagreement here. All right. You don't S-tier have album. it below? So if you were ranking them, what would you have? If I was ranking oh. these albums, Bandana yeah. and Pinata would be S tier. Um, okay. I and Alfredo, Alfredo would be A? I don't, I don't think it's as good as the other two. So See, I actually that's how like. I would rank it. This is interesting because I like, I think 
Bandanas is best. Alfredo's the second best, and then Pinata is his third best, and SSS is his you know is his fourth. Is that's that's how I oh yeah Triple S ain't on it. Um, oh Triple S, that's what's missing. We just we just sticking with anyway. No, it's, it's fine for now, man. I mean, like look, I mean, like I said, we can add it in or whatever. But yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I I think that the I think that's how I would if I was ranking them. This is how I rank them right now. Just start okay. off. All right, that's fine. Okay, so uh, I think. Uh, Fetty is uh, dope. I mean, he, he's only Fetty doing half of the. I mean, that's true. It's only half yeah. of him, but I think Fetty so, is a. Yeah. We can put it in A. Yeah, we can put it in A. Um, yeah. I think Shadow Freddy Redout is, is mid. I think uh, that's a C. I okay. think Freddy is. I think Freddy, Freddy is mid too. No, man. I love Freddy. <laughs> really? Uh, I like these albums a lot. I, think- I like these albums. <laughs> I, well, we all like okay. We all like all the. That's what I'm saying. Cool the tearless thing not gonna solve no, not gonna solve nothing. Except it's gonna end up being you say what you say and I say what I say and we gonna disagree. Oh. <laughs> but because you're not being you reasonable, twice you're not being reasonable. You just no. You just, I think you only live twice as mid, and I think you could put ESGN as mid. But I would both put, of those. I I would put both of those would, trash. Would, those would be D tier albums. Those would be D tier albums. I think Shadow of a Doubt is at least B. No. I like the first half of the album, and I do not like the the rest of it. I, I I'm serious. I I, I love like I, like you said, mess up the count and and extra tight. Those are some of my favorite Freddie songs ever. They're super high highs, but then the second half of that album, I do not like. Like I'm I, I'm I'm listening to the first half, and I'm good. So that's just that's just me. So I mean that that's fair. But I listen to if I listen to half that album religiously, then I don't even know how you how you deal with that. I don't know how you balance that or put a rating on that. You got to tell me how that goes. Because I mean... To me, I, if I, half so, your so album is good, it's... Wait, wait, wait. Like so, issue, <laughs> if I listen to... If I put J. Cole's albums in, all of them will be there because that's how I feel about all his albums. Okay, but see, it's not just your opinion. It's, <laughs> everybody loves these J. Cole albums. Yeah. Right? <laughs> these the ones that, that are up here already. Forces Drive is is certified. Everyone says it's classic, all right? Okay. Yeah. All right, so we can't, we can't, we're not gonna take that away from him. Born okay. Center, not everyone says it's classic, I but I just think it's his best album. You agree? It's his I think best it's his best album. I think it's his best album. Yeah. And, and you know, and so I think it just belongs to be as both of them are be- below Pinata and Bandana, in my opinion. I I could agree with that, and as albums, I could agree with that. They don't, but Pinata and Bandana. Don't have the same, you know, whether it's popularity or commercial uh, or hit, uh, you know, hits and stuff like that. But I can agree that they're not better albums, like straight through. What do you think, Bryson? Sweet. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed the end. But I'm sorry, yeah, I missed the end. Yeah, do you that? think you think that the J Cole albums are are so? Would you say that Bandana is better than any J Cole album? No. Okay. All right. All right. Well, look. No. So then, look. We disagree. We gonna disagree. So it's all good. So then let's let's <laughs> write this song. Night Bryce. Lights is better than any Gibbs album to me. First of all. Uh now that is his. That's his really good song. I gotta go to that again. I know yeah, we talked about gotta, that. That's what. That's what. His best a- album to me. ASAPAB was telling me. Yeah. I gotta go listen to it. I didn't yeah. get a chance to yet. See, okay, um, so this is the thing. This is the I issue. haven't heard it in years. I haven't heard it in years. Friday Night Lights is the album that J Cole wanted to make that's what j cole sounded like that was his stuff right and then mm-hmm. because you know he was on a big label and he had to make hits he mm-hmm. made the trash uh sideline story album which is d tier that should be d tier you gotta move that down that is not i think it's an f tier but <laughs> in the streets it can't stand it got a lot of hits on it when you it look back have, at it so. it does have some so, i mean mm-hmm. he put lights pleads on it which was already a hit for him mm-hmm. yeah uh um, that song with drake uh oh that's lights please yeah um no, 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 the no. Trey song in the song. morning is the song you you think it of. Okay, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. morning. Um, that Trey song song, the uh Missy Elliott song. Yeah. Like, he had a whole bunch oh, of yeah. hits on this song. Yeah. He had the Lost One song that was big as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and so um Work but, out. it has hits, but it's, I don't like it personally. But it's not good. Exactly, it's not good. So uh for your eyes only, I agree it's a B tier album. And I would actually move KOD down to a B tier album as well. Oh, good. I didn't want to be the only one. 
<laughs> yeah, I thought KOD was kind of disappointing at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, he did the voices thing on there too that I'm so critical of Kendrick for. And I liked it when I first I heard it. Yeah, but then I didn't. Then I didn't. Like I don't know what happened. It's cool conceptually. But, I'll never go back to that album now. But it's, one of these albums, but I'll even never go back to honestly. Okay, but both of these albums have big hits. Like okay, so first off, uh, ATM mm-hmm. is a is a, uh, a mm-hmm. hit. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. um, Kevin's heart is is mm-hmm. a huge hit. Uh, and then on For Your Eyes Only, Neighbors is a big hit. Mm-hmm. You know, like all, like that's it, one of my favorite songs from him. Exactly. So. Yeah. My my thing is he may have misses on like his albums aren't perfect like Bandana and Pinata are like the way you could just listen straight through, but mm-hmm. he's got bigger and very high highs. You know when we talk about J Cole as a whole. So well, when is he okay? But so when is he on and not on a major label? How does the Jay Z cosign enhance his popularity? And how it long does that last for throughout his career? That's that's a great question. We can we can get out of the. Uh, are we done with the tier list now? I think I think yeah. this is as much as we can get from it. So, um, I think that's a great question because I don't know how that goes because like you can be on a major and then not be on a major. Yeah. How long do you get the 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 buzz from that? Eventually, that's got to be just you. That's not the major no more that's doing that for you. Well, so that's I, I don't know. I don't know when his when his label stuff switched or, or whatever it is. To me, it seemed like right after his first album, after that, he wasn't using... Because that first album has all those features. Right. Like we just right. named Trey mm-hmm. Songz and, and Missy right. Elliott. And he's got the big names he make, to make the big songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's like major label budget. Right. They, he's pulling the strings. Hey, you make hits, right? Right. Yeah. Then after that, Born Center, he's cri- he's self-critical about all the decisions he made on that yep. album. And he's mm-hmm. correcting and doing it all himself. Right. Going a whole right. other direction. Exactly. So I think from then it was just him. I I, I mean, well, I, I would. He agree. still had. Mm, I don't know. I think he might still have some label stuff on there because he they had, had um, Kendrick. Who was, he had Bruno he had Mars. Jenei, Ioko. Well, him and Kendrick were were cool. Like he, he produced mm-hmm. the song on, on High, High right. Power uh, too. You know. Right. So yeah, that, I thought. I think well, how I, much does that? That's what I'm saying. So how much does that affect your career even lingering? Like I don't know. How, how do you do that? Because other people have been on and off and never had success to that extent, like a Royce, um, or you know, or like Gibbs just had a major label album. I didn't see it do no numbers. I, I don't, mm-hmm. uh, but I don't know how that works when it's late in your career. I didn't see commercials for it and stuff, but he did have like a extensive rollout. Um, basically, the same features he always has, though, and not not that different in right. terms of features. So I, I don't know how that goes. Yeah. So I mean, I think. At this at this point, that's why I said in the twenty tens, I feel like you know the the labels don't matter as much anymore. Like you know, at this point, it's like all internet, all streaming. You know, I, I think maybe in the very beginning of the twenty tens, it mattered, but like from then on, I mean, it's got to matter, man. I mean, some people are. I mean, we we talked about this with the other video. We talked about Jack Harlow and stuff. You said his album mm-hmm. streaming big. We we said he got no impact. So major label got to be doing something for somebody. I mean, it depends on. What your budget is, what, what yeah, the label is, I guess. Back then, no. Who who putting you on? You know, what, what's because the... there was no DSPs back then, though. No. So right in the um, very beginning, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's more early, so now. early in the tens. It's not as big. They're not they're not nearly as dominant as they are right now. Yeah, and I J. think Cole the label had, helps more now than it had back then. Yeah, J Cole had, like I said, a natural uh, organic buzz on those, like we said, those blog sites mm-hmm. and stuff like that. <clears throat> before even having the label. I do think, like I said, it, it helped him get all those features on his first album. He got a big budget, but that's not what helped him succeed. I think he, I mean, he literally produces his own music. He literally does all this stuff. He's mm-hmm. now, he has his own label. And I mean, I, I just, I, I really think that the major label thing helped him get on, you know, uh, you know, in the, for that first album. And the Jay-Z co-sign, I think it, it, you know, uh, Lupe had a Jay Z co sign when he first came out. I think that gets people came out eyes on platform. you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think. And then he stops on the platform. But okay, but that's different. Lupe got blackballed for other reasons. So, but. Right. J. But Cole, I mean, that, that co sign goes a long way for you. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know what they stuff. When does it stop? When does it end? How much did it help? I, I don't know. It's not. I'm not trying to, to take yeah, a yeah. Cool, So you're saying cool that Gibbs just never had a had the cosign to No. No, he never had that. No, he no. He never no. had that. He never had anybody in front saying this is the guy. 
go check his stuff out. But you don't um, think that like all of those like okay, so all those people that work together isn't that not like co-signing and stuff like you know when Black Thoughts on your track and and everyone you know from yeah. most F to you know all these people that get with you Jeezy he had a co- Jeezy co-sign from the beginning I mean that may not be the same as Jay Z but Jeezy is big in the South and stuff like that you know so well I don't remember there being a Jeezy look being like a he was on Jeezy was on his first. A couple of albums, right? He's on Babyface Killer and, and he's on Babyface Killer. And uh, isn't he on? I just ESGS? don't remember that being like a like a thing, like a video where he's like, "Yo, this is the yeah. dude, you know, this is my young guy or whatever." Like most of the time, how you would do like a like if you are the rapper and then you have the crew roll out, right? You always have the either the crew album yeah. or the big single with the crew dude. But did Jay Z did that? Not that, that I, really I don't know, man. I don't. Uh, not that I can remember. Wasn't he? I mean, he showed up on uh, Stars Born. Yeah, Stars Born yeah. Three. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was yeah. like so, his coming out party. So that's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't know, man. It's not really that comparison and stuff is that that stuff is difficult. So when you go to popularity and impact, I, I think somebody had to. Gibbs is basically like was nobody, um, and had to you know and built his stuff up until the point where he got love in the indie space mm-hmm. as an independent artist. I don't know how far that goes, what that impact is in comparison to somebody who doesn't start off in that same way. So that's, that's fair to, to say that J. Cole has far more popularity. And I would say his songs do have definite big time impact. He does it all himself. That's big time credit. I just don't know how that makes, that doesn't to me give you credit over somebody who has better albums. Yeah, and I think if Gibbs was getting these looks, I think he'd be just uh, or, or more famous. I I think see, I think same. I think the same thing. If if J Cole had an album produced by Madlib, I think he he could bar up every track just as well as Freddie Gibbs could. I I, I think. I mean, I, but I just, he's making that choice. Yes, he is making that choice. He is making that choice. It's his artistic decision. And. To me, it's crazy. I'd, I'd be surprised people don't hit Mad Lip up all the time. I'd be like, yo, why is everybody not trying to get with Mad Lip? I, I don't, whatever. I don't know. Maybe he don't want to talk to nobody, but. Yeah. Dude, he have he only have like albums with like random people. It's so weird. Like the people he chooses to work with and win. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think maybe those people have a personal like relationship with him. Like he actually like sits down because he produces the whole album. But he gets with them and I like mean, produces He has explained them. it like when he met how he met, you know, out mad lip and stuff like that. It wasn't like they knew each other before. Oh. You know, it's like, so it's just like, it's super, you know, it's just super weird to me. Um, 